Working on Dollhouse was just a completely new experience for me and we didn't have a script, we didn't know the plot. We had to improvise while the cameras were rolling. I'm used to preparing for my character and even weeks before knowing what my character is going to do. Going into a situation where you don't know what lines are going to even come out of your mouth. Gonna leave. Once we were casting the film, we went away for a week to a house in British Bay in Wicklow. <laughs> Kirsten would come down during the day and film us and play weird games and ask questions. Come over and start to try and get, you're just trying to get the two of these to react and they won't react. Oh, this chick. Poker face. <laughs> yeah, we just lived in each other's pockets for a week and got to know each other better than I know some of my mates. We'd talk about our characters and figure out what they would do in certain situations. And sometimes it got quite intense. Um, sometimes it got a bit emotional and sometimes we'd be laughing. Behave yourself, girl. Yeah, behave yourself. How fucking speak to her like that? Shakes and crackles. Anyway, give me your fucking hand challenge. Shut the fuck up! Yeah, she cast close to type, <laughs> I'm loath to say. <laughs> uh, obviously there's some differences between me and my character, but I think there's a lot of me in my character and the same for all of us. You couldn't help but put yourself into your character because we were told nothing about what our characters were meant to do or say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a slap. <laughs> But I didn't realise at the time, um, but a lot of the moments or lines or character traits in the film came from the improvs. So Kirsten might throw uh, a line at you. It would have been from an improvisation we'd done uh, weeks before and that might trigger something in your head from that improvisation and then it would all come out. What's all this? Oh, I grand, I grand. But then at night time when she left, we were all given the task of doing video diaries. So we'd film the others and ask them questions. But it made us all extremely close to each other. It was like a big therapy session for the week. It's like being in treatment. Just react to whatever you see, which was thrilling in one way, but um, yeah, terrifying in another way. Well, that's yours now. You know, when we first arrived, we didn't know, like, uh, it all seemed to, like, really rushed and secretive, and it was like we were, it was this renegade operation, like, uh, getting mic'd out in the street and everything, and then running in or whatever. Um, so I didn't know what to expect, like, so then when we got in and we saw the gaff, like, it was amazing. I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, so, the shock on my face was genuine, definitely, when I went in. <laughs> we don't belong here.